today's challenge, two weapons of mass destruction. What's happened here? Taking a bite. The carpet's been ripped, the kitchen cupboard that's been disintegrated. Out of everything in their path. When they come at you full throttle, you will know about it. In the seaside town of Hove, Zoe and Brad are a long way from happy. What's that? What did you do? The reason? They're French bulldogs Vinny and Arnie. The dogs are hmm, loving, but out of control. What are you doing? Very out of control. <laughs> They're hell-bent on destroying the entire house. Why are you chewing the sofa? That's really naughty! I get embarrassed. The kitchen cupboard's got teeth marks in it. The sofa has got holes in it. All of the cushions have got rips. The curtains Carpet. have been ripped. The carpet's been ripped. With Vinny as ringleader, they've shredded furniture, Brad's clothes, and eight remote controls so far. No, no, I think you've done enough damage. Who did this? Mummy's new headphones. What happened here? I find it really hard to discipline the dogs. I just fold. Especially Vinny, when he looks at me with those eyes, I just fold. Go! Naughty boy! Naughty boy! Meanwhile, time out has become a bit of a joke. He whimpers and I'm like, go and get him now, he's had his time. And Brad will be like, he's been in there one minute. I'm like, yeah, no, but he's done his time now. Look at that face. I mean, how can you say no to that face? So pretty! Does he love it? But the biggest problem these bulldogs will try to bite anyone who visits the house. The minute the gate goes, the dogs are out of control, they're barking and they are literally launching themselves at people, nipping your feet. When we have people around, it can be very intimidating. All of a sudden, they are literally hounded. They charge and when they come at you full throttle, you will know about it. With their house and social lives pretty much trashed, Zoe and Brad are at their wit's end. We can't entertain properly, we can't decorate, we can't leave them alone. We absolutely need Victoria's help. French bulldogs were selectively bred since the 1800s, and they've acquired this nickname, the Little Clown. By all accounts, it seems that these two dogs live up to that name. True to form, Victoria's receiving the standard greeting. First from Arnie. Hello. Goodness Come me. Come on, boys. Vinny. Goodness. Oh. Come here. Was that a little love knit? Uh, uh, ahem. Off. Then Vinny, who's taken a shine to her jacket. Vinny. Oh. Oh, oh, excuse Vinny. me. That's naughty. You can feel his teeth. Uh, Vinny! Vinny! Oh, if, my God. If your hands are down, he'll have them. Vinny! Vinny! Oh, 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 dear. Oh, dear. I require a bit of sewing there. <laughs> OK, that's enough. Thank you. Come on. Though Vinny has other ideas, as this is a game that can easily last half an hour. We have to watch them like a hawk. There's no relaxing when people come round. No. Down. Vinny! Oh. Hey! Oh. Enough, that's naughty. Don't. Uh oh, no, sir. Luckily, Victoria speaks bulldog. Basically, I was telling him, ow, that hurt. Stop. With a lifespan of up to 12 years, French bulldogs, also known as Frenchies, are a small dog with a big personality. Independent, affectionate and always curious, they love to explore. Typically, they're not big barkers, but they will alert you to visitors. They also require plenty of exercise and mental stimulation. Otherwise, that's when the trouble can start. Speaking of which... Let's have a look then, shall we? Oh, goodness me. Oh, right. As you can see, that bed lasted a while. He ripped a hole in it in 15 minutes. Could you pull them cushions back? 
Oh my. Do you have any footage of when he's chewing? Loads. <laughs> All right, here we go. Finny, what are you doing? Oh, that's naughty, isn't it? He has a lot of energy. He does. You're not biting that hoover pole, are you, Finny? He looks at you when you tell him to stop, and then he goes right back. But it's not just the lads Victoria wants to observe. She's turning the cameras on Zoe and Brad as well. Come on, love sitting with Mummy, don't you? Oh, no, we're not going to do all that, are we? Arnie. Arnie, don't be stupid. Arnie, sit up. And it soon becomes clear what the real problem is. Arnie! Give me a rest, man! Arnie, come here. Basically, these dogs... Come here. Arnie, come on! They're not listening to Zoe and Brad at all, because I think, effectively, Zoe and Brad have taught them not to listen. Vinny, come here. Come sit, Mama. <laughs> Zoe is very soft on the dogs, I feel. He's only a baby. <laughs> <laughs> Mummy's here. No, he's not, but he definitely gets treated quite like one. He's Mummy's best boy. She talks to the dogs constantly, on and on at them. Mwah. She definitely babies them. He's Mummy's bestie. Mwah. Her praising him sounds no different to when she's telling them off. There's really no difference to if she says, Oh, well done. Away from the hot drink, please. Good boy. To bad boy. No, leave that alone, Vin Vins. It's the same tone. Come on, boys. Five minutes of this, and I'm exhausted. But Victoria does have a possible explanation for Vinny's destructive tendencies. It could be a hangover from an ear infection. I really think that what caused this ear to droop has made the chewing worse. You get the medical issue sorted out and you give him more enrichment, you're not going to see very much chewing. OK. OK. I really... I, I promise you that. Mm. I like the fact that you do talk to your dogs, but if it's done right. Yeah. So I am looking at you, hearing you tell the dogs off, praise the dogs, maybe just a little bit much. I've never heard you've been called OTT before. <laughs> I think that's why the dogs tune you out. What you say really doesn't have meaning. But the behaviour that worries me most is what I received when I came through that door. It's just a matter of time before that mouthing, that excitable jumping up and grabbing is going to be on a child's arm. Mm. It's something Arnie's already attempted with a local courier. Kyra had just come in the back gate and I didn't realise I was in the kitchen. Arnie's gone charging out and <coughs> he made a complaint. So you've already been very close. Yes. Luckily, they accepted the apology. So this is really serious behaviour. I am going to put something into place, but you must follow it. The first step in restoring law and order is teaching Zoe the basics of conversational French. Bulldog, that is. You say that the dogs don't listen to you. And I think it's because there's like a torrent of information comes out of you at all times. It's all on the same tone. OK. So they're very confused about what they're supposed to do. I want you to become a little bit more aware of that. Yeah. When you praise, you go, good boy. If you have to mark a behaviour you don't want, then just like a no, be more direct. Zoe's other favourite tactic, especially where Arnie's concerned, always using food when it comes to training. He's never sat without a treat and he's never just come when you said come. It's only if I've rustled a bag, I'm basically begging him to come. You say that they don't do anything without treats. But I think they will. OK. Arnie, come. Good boy. Sit. Yeah, 
treats. Good boy. So he does do stuff without treats. I've never seen that. I was literally like, what did he just do? <laughs> Though for life in this house to change, it's a skill Zoe needs to master as well. Ask him to SIT. Sit. Good boy. See, oh, isn't that beautiful? Good boy. How you just go, sit. I'm actually really shocked. Good boy. Nice. So what you say and how you say it makes a huge difference between the dog that just tunes you out and the dog that listens to you. I feel like I could cry. <laughs> but now comes the bigger challenge. What are you doing? Why are you chewing the sofa? What did you do? Saving what's left of Zoe and Brad's belongings. I call this cue the not yours cue. And I'm going to start doing it with food, and then I'm going to move on to household objects that we know he loves. <laughs> Little bit of stillness. With a treat in each hand, Victoria's using this cue to redirect Vinny from what he's not allowed to chew... Not yours. ..to what he is. Yours. Not yours. Yours. See that? This is fascinating. Yes. He's now learnt that when I say not yours, that he has to take his head away from something. Yeah. But then he gets something in return. Yeah. Right now it's a dog treat, but it could eventually be a toy. In all the time we've had Vinny, he's never listened. Not yours. Yours. But he literally, within minutes, just got it. And with Vinny an A student, Victoria's upping the ante. These are your socks, Brad. He really likes your socks. Not yours. Yours. Good boy. He left it. The smallest little adjustments to how you talk to him and how you treat him, mm. it's, it's, it's <laughs> blowing me away, to be honest. <laughs> Brad's wardrobe now safe, it's on to Vinny's other favourite delicacy. No, no, I think you've done enough damage. Who did this? The TV remote. He's eaten eight of these, hasn't he? Yep. Not yours. Yours. Not yours. Yours. Good boy. Yours. Yes. It's really overwhelming to see Vinny taking to the training. Not yours. Yours. Good boy. A hundred percent. It will save us money by the end of tomorrow, I imagine. <laughs> Though before investing in a new sofa, why are you chewing the sofa? These two need to master this skill for themselves. Brad. Not yours. Yours. Well done. I love the way you're talking to him. Beautiful. But while Brad's a natural... Not yours. Yours. Lovely. Zoe's pitch is a work in progress. Not yours. Remember... Nice. We're not commanding from on high. Thank not you. yours. Not yours. Good, but I want you to reserve that high voice okay. for praise. Okay. Make it very unemotional. Not yours. Good boy. That was so okay. beautiful. Not yours. Good boy. Yes. You are so good. <laughs> With the lads making huge progress, the next hurdle is their reaction to visitors. Vinny's excitability makes him mouthy, while Arnie oh. bites because he's nervous. Oh. Come here. Is that a little love, Nick? Uh, uh, <clears throat> so Victoria has a game plan, which starts in the kitchen. This is where you yeah. congregate first. Yes. And we're going to set up the living room. That can be the dog's safe space mm -hmm. while people come in. But given their very different reaction to guests, this needs to be a two-pronged approach. This crate is going to be Arnie's safe space. OK. Meanwhile, Vinny can use the room to run off his excitable energy. This is going to be Vinny's chew bone. But I've put food... <laughs> ..either end. He's going to be more into kind of chewing, licking, trying to get it out. This is going to be a great activity. Arnie also needs a discharging activity. So I've put cheese in this mat, I've put some of his favourite treats in. The reason why I am not just giving 
two dogs, two activity toys with food in, when they're free to be around each other, is we know what's going to happen. We certainly do. A fight. I don't want that to happen. That's why we have one dog safely contained in the crate and the other one outside. Once the guests have settled in, it's time to let the dogs out, starting with Vinny. When he comes in here, you already have placed an activity toy, something like this, on the ground because I want Vinny's nose to go down on greeting people rather than up. I want his energy to go, hello, oh, boom, down on the ground. To really engage the lads, these toys will only come when there are visitors, a technique Zoe and Brad can't wait to try. Arnie in the crate. With Victoria playing house guest. Hi, Hello. come in. Thank you. Come on through. <laughs> so far, not a peep. It is so nice to come in and not be jumped all over. And it's calm. Yeah. After a few minutes, Zoe unleashes Vinny. Good boy. Good boy. Well done. Wow. Well, well hello. <laughs> what am I? Your boot's not so much fun anymore. They're not. Hello. He's coming back. Hello. Lovely. Love it. I love the fact that he's playing. I'm Not here. Interested. Didn't go for my boots. Doesn't really care. And all of that is on that toy. I'm flabbergasted <laughs> that something that seemed so hard for us to do, that we were screaming and shouting and all the wrong things, it's going to make our lives so much easier. The next step is rewarding Vinny's good behaviour. Good boy. We're going to put that away for now. Are we going to sit? Then it's Arnie's turn. Arnie, come in. It seems his lick mat has done the trick. He's already exhausted because that licking is tiring. <laughs> Arnie doesn't even want to come in. Oh, no, I feel really bad. He's not even interested. My boy doesn't like me anymore. Uh, shocked. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you should pray if she's lost for words. <laughs> that sums it up for me. <laughs> Well, this has been an experience. <laughs> <laughs> I have to say, you've stuck with your dogs, especially Vinny. You've lived with this for a long time. Mm. You do not have to live like this anymore. No. It, it was hard work before you came, I can assure you. <laughs> <laughs> I've set you on the path. Do not let up. Keep working at it. We will. Thank you. We, you, we won't let you down. Oh. We'll be on it. Over the next few weeks, Zoe and Brad can't believe how much their bulldogs and their lives have changed. Uh, not yours. Yeah, not yours. Not a good boy. I think we're both really surprised about how effective the training is in such yeah. a short space of time. I'm a bit shocked at um, how, how well they've done. Yeah. Um, yeah, they're so much more calm. Using Victoria's techniques on a daily basis means this behaviour... <laughs> Chewing the sofa. No, no, I think you've done enough damage. Is a thing of the past. Vinny hasn't actually chewed anything that's not his toys since she's left. Even better. <laughs> visitors no longer receive this kind of welcome. In, in. We feel a lot more confident inviting people around. Honey, in your crate. Come on. Good boy. And so, this family is all set to live happily ever after. Sit. Good boy. Such good boys, aren't you? Good boy. It's great to see that Zoe and Brad's hard work has paid off, and it just goes to show that fairly small changes can make a world of difference. Thanks for watching. If you love It's Me or the Dog and want more dog training tips and tricks, visit my official site, Positively.com. And if you're interested in learning more about becoming a dog trainer, check out the Victoria Stillwell Academy. Links to both sites are in the description. I'll see you online.